Hey, everybody. Hope things are going great. Good evening. Jay Lee here. Come on in here and let's join me. Let's get this thing on the road. This is our Monday Motivational Power Talk. Today is August the 20th, 2018, 9 o'clock p.m. So come on through, folks. I uh, want to wanna speak with you for a little moment. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing great, man. This has been a busy day for me. Um, this is going to be a prosperous week as well. Trying to making making deals happen. I'm working on deals for the Wealth Summit tours, Washington D.C., and I'm also working on making deals happen for some property I'm looking at, folks. I am looking at some property now. <laughs> so uh, it's it's been designated as a motel. It's located right on the beach, right in Treasure Island, man. So. Just see what happened, man. I got to get my foot in it, right? Got to give it a shot. See what happens. You know, I got a, 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 a dynamite mortgage broker that I'm um, that's, that I'm teaming up with to make this happen. So you're going to see it's, it's actually not on the market, but it's been abandoned for some quite some time. So we're going to see what we're going to make happen out of it. It's, a, it's been slated as a, it's been um is it is documented as a motel it has is has nine units in it so um and i've been told that i can use it as an apartment building or or motel so let's see what happens we're going to map it out and see how things go with um and see what which is more profitable using it as an apartment or a motel probably motel as some people have said but we'll see let's see what happens on it man it, it's a, it's a beautiful it's nice property Beautiful property, I like it. So we're gonna see what happens, folks. But thank you for joining. This is our Monday Motivational Power Talk. I do have a few announcements. Uh, this coming Thursday is in in Treasure not Treasure Island in Terra Verde, Florida. Okay, Terra Verde is out on the island. So uh, this coming Thursday, we're gonna be on the island at a beautiful restaurant and a bar called Island Grill. All right. So uh, this is the St. Petersburg Business League's first mixer. So you guys know the St. Petersburg Business League holds monthly meetings every single month on the second Tuesday. So this is actually we had to meet. The second Tuesday was last Tuesday, which we had the meeting. And this coming Thursday is the mixer. So this is our first mixer as the St. Petersburg Business League. It's going to be at a phenomenal location. It actually has a swimming pool. I think the swimming pool, I think the manager told me that the swimming pool is now open. So it has a brand new swimming pool right there where we're we going to have the mixer. It's like literally right next to where we have in the mixer, folks. The bar here, the table set up, we're going to be here. And then the swimming pool is like just a few feet from where we're going to be at. So we're excited. This is the tropics, folks. So come on down on Thursday, 5.30 to 8 o'clock. You don't have to leave at 8, but the mixer, the happy hour, the mixer stuff, you know, we ended at 8 o'clock. But you welcome to stay there. They normally have live entertainment there, somebody on a guitar playing some beautiful music. Normally something going on, right? So we're excited. So, folks, what I want to talk to you about is something, something, something very valuable. But let me go ahead and open up for you. If it's going to be, it's up to me to fulfill my dreams and possibilities with dedication and motivation to inspire thousands from all nations. When times are tough and breaks you down, just smile with toughness and be built from the ground. During tough times, adversity is a lot. Just remember. Time flies, but you are the pilot. Folks, this past Saturday, I forgot to mention this, I was invited to speak at an event called Mind Your Mind, um, Series 2, subtitle, You're Not Alone. And we had some phenomenal speakers there, you know, speaking. Uh, Fred Hinton was phenomenal. You know, uh, um, another young lady, I, I can't think of everyone's name, um, India Wright, she spoke, she was phenomenal. We had um, Felicia Romano was phenomenal. It was it was the MC was Ricky. I don't remember Ricky's last name. Ricky, I don't I don't want to get it wrong, but he knows who I'm talking to. He done a phenomenal job, and it was all hosted by Trinette Ingram. You know, she's doing a series of these, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be speaking at the next one. 
or not, I believe she, I am, I, I believe she wanted to reach out to me about that, but it's, it was a phenomenal event. I was one of the speakers there, a gentleman by the name of Arthur, he was speaking there as well. Everybody was phenomenal. It was a phenomenal day. Everybody had some valuable information that people could walk away with, all right? And I am so proud of everybody who was there who made contributions to make this event a fabulous event. Okay, so congratulations to Net for such an amazing event, event, and I'm looking forward to the next one. So, folks, what I want to talk to you guys tonight, you know, these are going to be a little ser mini series of the seven natural laws of the universe. This is the third night of that mini series, and the first two nights, <clears throat> two weeks ago, I talked about the law of transmutation. I talked about the law of transmutation. And then the following night, I talked about the law of rhythm. And tonight, so you make sure you look at those back videos so you can get caught up. Or just go to my YouTube channel. Just look up Jay Lee on YouTube or Jay Lee Speaks on YouTube and, and check those other videos out if you can't find them on my business page, on Jay Hunter Lee business page. All right. So tonight, what I want to talk to you guys about is the one of the natural laws of the universe called the law of gestation. And what is the law of gestation? What does it state? It states that everything will manifest when it's ready to be manifested. I'm going to repeat that. The law of gestation is everything will be manifested when it's ready to be manifested. Now, the gestation period, folks, calls for growth. Okay. And in, in, in the world of spirituality, you know, it's believed that time is an illusion. So you go with gestation, stating that everything will manifest when it's ready to be manifested. Hello, Jocelyn Price. What's happening, Cuzzo? Thank you for stopping through. So the law of gestation, let's talk about that. What happens during the law of gestation? Pregnancy is a gestation period, right? And what happens during pregnancy? What is going on with the child in the, in the womb, in, in the mother? During the law, during that gestation period, that child is growing until it's ready to give birth. Woman, the mother is ready to give birth of that child. Okay, <clears throat> naturally. So the law of gestation simply means that things will manifest when it's been ready to be manifested. So you have to grow within that period. Let me give you a prime example. I use this example all the time because I always talk about the law of gestation. It just happens to be one of the seven natural laws of the universe, and I'm covering it in this miniseries. <clears throat> the law of gestation, folks, here it is. Prime example, if you want to be a millionaire, okay, <clears throat> you've opened up the channel. That frequency is now there for you to travel to be on your way to become that millionaire. Now, it may seem to be impossible, but you've already opened up the frequency. You have to travel through that frequency. You have to do the necessary things while in that frequency that you have to do to become a millionaire. See, if you say you want to become a millionaire in the mind, that's non-physical. So you have to duplicate those efforts in the physical so it, it can become a physical reality. That's amazing, isn't it? So here's what you got to know, folks. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to grow into a millionaire. You have to allow the laws of gestation, the law of gestation to do what the law of gestation is supposed to do, which is to allow you to grow naturally into becoming that millionaire. Now, you see a lot of people get on TV, they win the lottery, they live in the four or five million dollars in three to five years, they broke all over again. A gentleman by the name of T. Harv Ecker, he calls it your money blueprint. It's a book he have written called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Bestseller book, awesome book. I highly recommend you pick it up. <clears throat> the author name is T. Harv Ecker. And your money blueprint simply says that if you are a $40,000 a year person, no matter how much money you receive outside of that, you will always end up back to your money blueprint 
which is that of $40,000. Now, prior Donald Trump, prior his presidency, you know, he had went broke supposedly at one time, but he already had a money blueprint of that of a billionaire. And he shared that story before how he had lost everything and what his worth was like at one time. Eventually, he became a multi-billionaire again. Why? It's because his money blueprint was that of a multi-billionaire. Okay, so I'm just sharing that with you on 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 a higher level, just as I showed shared it with you an example of, of that on the lower level. Now, um, now I'm just mentioning Trump as as an entrepreneur. I'm not talking about presidency. I'm not speaking politics here. So. Uh, how did that happen? The law of gestation happens, folks. Listen, if you're headed downhill, the law of gestation is also taking place if, when you're heading downhill. When I went homeless four years ago, living in Washington, D.C., moving to Florida homeless, that was a gestation period. That gestation period was, was me on my way to become a homeless person at the time. <clears throat> Starting from 2003, I was in and out of jobs, right? I kept doing the exact same things over and over and over and over and over again, and I was expecting a different result. Albert Einstein calls that insanity, the definition of insanity. So I kept doing the same thing, putting out a resume, going to temp agencies, going to work, getting laid off again, repeating that, right? And eventually, folks, it got to a point where that law of gestation manifested me to be on the street. No job, no business, no work, literally like flat out on the street. I had to pick it up, folks. Now, the law of gestation doesn't always have to take a long time to do certain things. You want to some people can turn their lives around in three months. I turned my life around between three and six months uh, from recovering from homelessness. So it takes people a lot faster. It may take people a lot longer. But you have to understand that everything we do is within the natural laws of the universe called the law of gestation. And in time, whatever it is we keep doing, it will eventually manifest. It will eventually burst, whether it's a breakthrough or a fallback. So we have to be very, very careful of our activities because if you keep doing the same things that's keeping you from your goal, eventually that goal is going to get further and further away from you. And it's going to manifest into a place where you're going to explode in the wrong direction, which you want that explosion to be your breakthrough. So during the gestation period, you have to grow, folks. During the gestation period, we grows along with grass. <laughs> grass grow, we grow. So everything has a gestation period. So wherever, wherever it is you want to do, you have to grow into that millionaire. You have to read books that millionaires are writing. You have to read a lot of stuff in terms of investing, understanding the investment strategies and things like that. You have to do all these things and not only that you have to put the work into now you're going to have some failures along the way those failures are there for your growth you see what i'm saying folks it's not an easy road to become a millionaire it's not an easy road to become something that you've never been before because les brown said this in order for you to come uh to, to get what you've never had you have to become the person you've never been so you that takes growth every caterpillar has never been a butterfly before. So there's a gestation period for that caterpillar to become a butterfly, isn't it? So you have to grow into the person you need to grow into in order for you to reach the goal that you set for yourself. Now, those obstacles are also created when you created the goal. And those obstacles are gonna come for you whether you're ready for them or not. So you rather those obstacles come to you when you are in motion and doing the work rather than you being a procrastinator. Because when you're a procrastinator and those challenges come to you, it's gonna hurt you a lot worse. So whenever you create a goal here, 
you have to manifest it in the physical and you have to act on it immediately because at that single time is when the law of gestation turns on and start operating and it does not turn off. So everything that is involved with that gestation period is taking toll. So you better move on it quick. You better move on it move on it immediately if that's making sense to you. So folks, I covered a lot in just 16 minutes. <laughs> and I'm almost done and I still have 30 uh, 15 minutes to go, 14 minutes to go. So <clears throat> But I hope this makes sense to you, folks. Um, the law of gestation simply means that everything will manifest when it's ready to be manifested. That calls for growth within the gestation period. How do you grow? You grow with the obstacles that are going to, you're going to be facing, the resistance you're going to be facing. Think of yourself going into a gym. If you want to be muscle bound, if you want to be stronger, you can't get stronger by lifting weights that's easy. You got to lift the harder weight so that you can face the resistance. You guys understand what I'm saying? Face the resistance. It's the resistance that's going to build your strength. That's natural. That's irrefutable. Those are, they, they call it the, never, the seven natural laws of the universe. They should call them the seven natural irrefutable laws of the universe because you can't negotiate with these laws. Another law that they is not really included in these seven laws is, is the law of gravity. You can't negotiate with gravity, right? It doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person. If you walk off a building, you're going to hit the ground. No one is exempt from any of these laws. And it doesn't matter if you believe in these laws or not. These laws still applies to our life every single day i don't care what your belief is or what your religion is or what your practice is you will never ever ever <clears throat> avoid any of these laws and the law of gestation is one of those seven natural laws you're not going to get around it folks i don't care what it is whatever your political stance is whatever your religion is whatever your race is it doesn't matter these natural laws of the universe are going to apply to your life, and they don't turn off and on. So <clears throat> keep, them, keep that in mind that when you're going through tough times, it's because you have something bigger for you in the future that's lying ahead of you, but you have to face the resistance to get through it. You have to face the resistance to get through it. Like a heavyweight championship of the world, you have to fight the lower ranked fighters before you can reach the champion. You may win all these other, other fighters. You may lose a couple, but you have to come back. You have to come back. Those other fighters are going to be your resistance. You want to be the resistance to those other fighters. They all, all of you guys are trying to reach the championship. So the fact that you all are there training and fighting one another, you are all the resistance of each other. So, the toughest person is going to come up to the championship, and then you got to beat the champ, become the champ. Are you up for that task? That doesn't go for the boxing world. That goes for anything. That goes in life. You're going to have to face challenges along the way, folks. For every new level, there's a new devil. <laughs> so, you no, know, if you master one level, guess what? You got to move to the next. You have never arrived. Even when you get to the place where you actually want to be, guess what happens, folks? There's always room to keep going up. And you're going to have to keep facing, facing resistance to get better, facing resistance to get better. Never sit idle. I don't care where you are. See, your self-worth should always be higher than your net worth. See, your, your net worth can't go up. See, this is your self-worth. This is your, I'm sorry, this is your net worth on the bottom. This is your self-worth on the top. Your self, your net worth cannot go up. Your net worth cannot go up unless your self-worth goes up first. So your self-worth must increase in order for your net worth to increase. Why is that? It's because value. Self-value. 
hope this is making sense to you guys. So listen, folks, um, we got about 10 minutes left. I'm going to uh, hope this is very helpful to you. I don't have anything else to share with you right now. This is the, one of the quicker calls, one of the quicker um, uh, motivational power talks we've had in a while. Um, I've covered everything I need to cover on the law of gestation. And you can look these laws up. Just go Google the seven natural laws of the universe so that when I cover the other ones in the coming weeks, you will be in line with what I'm saying. All right, folks. So with that being said, please share this video. If it's not something that you've gotten out of it, someone else you know will get something out of it. So with that being said, I want you to do me one last bigger favor, and that is to sing like no one can hear you, dance like no one can see you, love like you've never been hurt, and live like it's heaven on earth. I'm Jay Lee. I love you, and the world needs you. So stop that damn texting and driving. <laughs> Peace and blessings, folks. Have a great day.